Hi everyone, um, it's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. Uh, we are the 21st of February 2018. And I'm Philippe Lafoucouré and I'm going to uh, present you the functional security update, uh, functional growth update for security products, sorry. Uh, this is the agenda for today. Uh, I will try to be brief because we have a lot of things to see. Uh, first of all, this is the new team for the security products. Uh, most of us are coming from the gymnasium acquisition. So I'm Philippe Lafoucouré, the engineering manager. Uh, we have Fabio with us, uh, which is uh, with the interim product manager coming from the CI CD team and uh, is helping us since the, the creation of this team. Uh, Fabian Cato is coming from Gymnasium as well. He was the leading developer at Gymnasium. Uh, we have Gilbert Rollo and Olivier Gonzalez with us. As you can see, it's a pretty senior team. Coming with some challenges. Uh, the first one is uh, the transition from being synchronous to asynchronous. Uh, we had a very different a way to solve things in Gymnasium, we were using the chat a lot, even if we were on different time zones. And we use the chat to um, figure out things regarding issues. And where everything was sorted out, we created the issue with the conclusion of the chat. And it's a lot different in GitLab today. So we need to uh, move to this uh, asynchronous mode. And it's pretty new for us and a big challenge. Uh, we also used to do CD, so continuous deployment to gymnasium.com. The way we used that was, uh, again, a lot different from what uh, GitLab is doing with uh, gitlab.com. Um, actually, every change was pushed directly to um, master and then to production. And we used gymnasium.com as a, a test lab for our enterprise customers. We, do, we did releases at, as well in Gymnasium. Um, but gymnasium.com was evolving all the time and was a really great way to figure out issues before releasing things for Gymnasium Enterprise. Um, also, everyone is running at the same time. That means we can't or it's harder to uh, ask questions to each other because we are all at the same page uh, on the, the onboarding process. Uh, the handbook, as you know, is huge. It's more than a thousand pages now. So it's pretty much impossible to um, integrate the whole handbook uh, in less than a month. And I would like, again, to say a uh, big shout out to Fabio because he's doing a lot to help us and he's everywhere and I know he is already uh, doing a lot of things for the CI CD team. So again, thank you Fabio for, for the help. It's really appreciated. Um, just quickly for our objectives, uh, as you know, we are migrating everything from Gymnasium to GitLab. So I won't go into details here. Uh, the, the idea is we want to make sure that the, the users from Gymnasium have the same experience in GitLab. So we are moving as much as possible. It's going pretty well because uh, tomorrow we are going to add the 10.5 release of GitLab.com. And uh, it includes a lot of things from Gymnasium already. So we are really happy with uh, the accomplishment there that we're going to see in the next slide. And also our objectives include making better security products that includes uh, mostly SAST for now, but we're going to improve DAST as well. And so far, we have succeeded in integrating the gymnasium dependency checks uh, into pipelines through the SAST job. That means for the user, a better Ruby support because we have mostly the same database as uh, RubySec, but we have improved some uh, advisories and we have a little more advisories than what they have. Uh, the same goes for NPM. We have a better support for NPM now. Um, for Python, we have a better support as well because we are checking dependencies. 
which wasn't the case before the, the security products team integration. Uh, that's the big news. We have Java support in the SAST. So for now, it's just sec um, dependencies checking, but that's a great step ahead from what uh, SAST was able to do. And again, it's an iteration. So that's the first is the iteration for Java. We're expecting for the next release 10.6 to have more than that. We want to have uh, some static code analysis uh, in the SST as well. And we also added the support for PHP uh, through the gymnasium because we're again uh, checking dependencies there. Uh, we also added multi languages detection in SAST. Uh, the job was stopping at the first language it was detecting. So now, if we have a Ruby and NPM, for instance, in a project, the, both languages are going to be uh, detected and managed by SAST. We have created a client and a server for SAST to use Gymnasium. So it's very specific to what we did uh, in GitLab. It's uh, already working and going to be shipped in 10.5. And we are removing the duplicates uh, from the output because we're using many tools in SAST and we might have some CVs several times in the report. So that's a bit useless. Uh, we also updated the, um, the widget in the merge request. Uh, I won't take all the credits for that. I guess <laughs> the front end team did everything. And it's really nice what we have now. Uh, as you can see, we had something with a lot of colors. It was a bit uh, aggressive for the users. And now we have something very clean and we're working a lot with the UX team and uh, the front end team to improve that. And in the next weeks, you're going to see a lot of improvements there. And we have some very great expectations for this uh, widget and especially uh, for the CI view, you're going to have that kind of report directly in uh, the CI view, so for each commit. We have a few concerns as well uh, since we joined GitLab. Um, we have seen that GitLab does not use our tools. Um, they are using, we have seen most, many projects using code quality or uh, Ruby, uh, Ruby Cup or the tools that we are using inside SAST, but in very custom configurations. So we need to figure out a way to make sure that everyone is using the SAST tools and the SAST jobs. And if it doesn't fit, we need to figure out why it doesn't fit and improve that. So uh, that is going to be used in GitLab first because our, our users will have the same issues. Um, we try to use SAST as well from the Omnibus package, but unfortunately we can't do that because Omnibus is using a lot more things than just packages dependencies. And we don't have that kind of data currently, but we really want to be able to secure everything inside GitLab and to enforce security requirements as soon as possible. And the last concern that we have is we don't have any metric. That means if we have that something in SAST, uh, the image is going to be pushed directly to the registry and that image will be pulled for each new job. That means every time we change something, it's a kind of continuous uh, deployment. So we're pushing directly to production and we have no feedback directly uh, from the platform. We could have some feedback from the users, but that's all we need. We shouldn't wait for the users to yell at us because we have uh, break something. And that's it for today. Is there any questions? Uh, could we talk about genesis and competitors and possibly expand the how we compare? Um, right, that is, that's a 
tough question. Um, the main difference between what we're doing in GitLab and companies like Checkmark is that we are leverage, leveraging the, um, some open source software to do SAST. That means we don't have anything in-house apart from Gymnasium to do SAST. So we're using Code Climate, we're using uh, Bundler Audit, we're using Bandit for Python, etc. Um, that's for me the, the biggest difference. And the company like Checkmark, they are doing that internally. If you are using Codacy, for example, they are doing that internally. If you are using Code Climate, they have their own engine. So that's the main difference between the between the two. Do we have more questions? We're going to have a lot of presentations for uh, non-engineering teams, especially sales, and uh, so you will learn more of uh, gymnasium in the future. Yeah, I have great new t-shirt. <laughs> it just arrived yesterday. That's a good timing. <laughs> okay, if, yeah. Uh, when they said I don't use these tools, can you elaborate? Um, there are many, many, many projects inside GitLab, not only GitLab C and GitLab E. Uh, there is a SAST job in in GitLab CE. Uh, I, I need to check that for you. But so far, on most projects that I've seen, we don't use SAST, and I don't want the developers to use SAST and to copy past the, the definition. I want the developer to be able to enable SAST, and in the future, we want to enable security requirements enforcement. That means Katie would be able to define, and Katie and our team would be able to define some requirements and we should be able to enforce that on many projects with different levels. Okay, we don't have any more questions. I will give you five more seconds if you want to ask us something. And yes, if we're using Auto DevOps, it's going to be enabled for every new project, but I suspect every new project is not using Auto DevOps. I, I need to double check that for the next uh, FGU. Uh, after integrating into GL, are there any future plan? You can talk about feature, feature features. Um, uh, we are, when you talk about feature, I suspect you don't talk about uh, gymnasium features. Um, yes, we, we have great plans, but Actually, what we want to do uh, in the security products is to make the life of the developers easier. So we want to move that information that we have currently in the database to the, the eyes of the users. And most of the features will include reporting and dashboarding. Currently, we are just uh, listing issues, and we want to make a lot more than that. Mac, has made, a, uh, has made a great presentation, a great video a few days ago about uh, what code quality and SAST should be in the future. And we should really bring that information directly into the code. That's really what we want to be added. Yes, we have the, the auto update, but it's going to be you know, on very long term. I will leave that for the next FTGU. Okay, thank you, everyone. I guess we have gone through all questions. Yeah, no more questions. 
So thank you again, and we'll see you in the team call. Bye-bye.